What's up, YouTube? Underworld6667 here, coming at you with a very random deck profile slash uh, quick game. Um, hopefully I can win this game. Um, you're looking at a very uh, incomplete testing version of uh, Infernities. I understand in the comment section down below, you're probably going to flame the crap out of this deck list. However, you know, leave positive feedback. You won't get blocked. That's the way it's going to work around here. Um, of course, we've got one Armageddon Knight, one Dark Ruffer, three Arch Fiends, one Infernity Avenger, three Infernity Mirage, uh, three Infernity Mech Necromancers, uh, three Stygian Street Patrol, uh, two Tour Guide from the Underworld, Allure Book, uh, Dark Hole, Foolish Burial, Infernity Launcher, two MSTs, a uh, Reinforcements of the Army, three Call of Haunted, a Compulse, three Infernity Barriers, two Infernity Breaks, two Infernity Inferno, one or two mirror forces, one solemn warning, one torrential tribute. In the uh, extra deck, of course, you got one colossal fighter, two crimson bladers, uh, two hundred eyes dragon, uh, one infernity doom dragon, one scrap dragon, one side insurgents, uh, gaga cowboy, two laval chains, two uh, leviers, uh, one number seventeen leviathan dragon, and a number fifty black ship of corn. Now this uh, deck is based upon um, the old infernities in which. Um, the use of Hundred Eyes Dragon allows you to pop out a whole bunch of Infernity Barriers into your hand before finally synchroing uh, into possibly Infernity Doom Dragon or even just leaving your Infernity Archfiends on the field. Um, hopefully we can find somebody really, really quick and we're going to do a very, 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 very quick single game. You know what? Let's just do a single game and we will be good to go. Welcome Kai Bazer. Um, hopefully you're not running a FTK. And that's the only reason, or it's a troll deck, um, because that's the only reason to click single anymore, is if you are running a troll deck. So let's hope and pray that he is not. I'm going to simply activate the uh, Lure of Darkness, because I don't really want this in my hand anyway. Uh, I'm going to then set, 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 and set, and we're going to end our turn. Now, as you can tell, uh, I have the option of doing the Infernity uh, Inferno right off the bat um, because I have Call. I can discard both of these and put two Infernity monsters into the graveyard, uh, which point allows me to also put uh, Archfiend itself and, of course, the uh, Mirage into the graveyard that I will use with hun uh, Hundred Eyes Dragon later. Um, I am playing against... A lovely deck. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. If he does want to attack me, hmm, 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 I'm going to let it die. I know I could save it. Um, I could then exceed and all that kind of stuff. But I want him in the graveyard. That is just the way it's going to be. Of course, at the end of his turn, I am going to activate. Actually, you know what? I'm going to activate it right now. And I'm going to to graveyard to graveyard view. And I'm going to to graveyard and to graveyard. So I have quite a few cards in the graveyard. I'm also going to activate call. Special summoning him in attack mode. I doubt very highly that I'm going to draw into um, the Mirage. So let's face it. <laughs> um, or sorry, into the Archfiend. Uh, every once in a while I do actually draw into it, which is really, really good for me, but let's face uh, facts, right now it's probably not going to happen. Um, right now I have the ability to normal summon this. Uh, unfortunately, because I did draw the uh, Stygian Street Patrol, I am going to have to waste this Stygian Street Patrol just to special summon it into attack mode. Um, at this point, I am going to then overlay for my Laval chain. I'm going to ditch the Stygian Street Patrol to ditch an Archfiend into the graveyard. So, two grave. I'm going to activate Mirage's effect to special summon into attack position both of these monsters. Uh, Infernity Archfiend's effect activates, at which point I'm going to add to my hand a barrier, which is pretty much a solemn judgment. Uh, a little less powerful, but still really, really good. Um, I'm going to set this card, activate Necromancer, 
Necro effect. I know I'm really announcing my plays to this uh, gentleman over here, but hey, it's just the way it works. Uh, we're going to view this. We're going to special summon the 100 Eyes Dragon. We're going to activate effect. Banishing this to Grave, which then allows us to re special summon these two. Activating the effect of Archfiend, putting barrier to my hand. I once again set the barrier. Now I have a couple of options here. Unfortunately, because um, you know Infernity Mirage cannot be special summoned, um, it's not a good thing to add to the hand with Archfiend. Um, so yeah, it's not something that you want to do. Uh, I only play two hundred eyes dragons because uh, the simple fact of this deck does not really allow that kind of shenanigan. Uh, I'm going to remove, banish this to the grave, special summon, special summon, view, put this to the hand, banish this, special summon this, this effect activates, I can now put the last barrier to my hand, so I have three negations uh, that cost me really nothing. Um, Necromancer's effect, special summoning that in attack mode. Now once again I have a Compulse, I have uh, Infernity Barrier, I've got uh, Laval Chain. <laughs> this is a very, very powerful field right now. Simple special summons, that's all I'm doing. Just simple, simple special summons. Um, we're going to enter or activate the effect because uh, 1300 damage. I could do 1700 damage. <coughs> Excuse me. We have now killed that. 1700 damage. 1700 damage, please. This guy is taking uh, his sweet time. We're going to enter the battle phase. We do another 3600 damage right there. And we are ending our turn with three Sword of Solemn Judgments and a Compulsory Evacuation Device just in case he decides to um, do something fishy. Uh, once again, the Infernity Doom Dragon does count as an Infernity Monster, uh, as well as the Archfiend also counts as an Infernity Monster. Uh, next turn, uh, we're going to protect the Laval Chain, uh, possibly compulsing our Infernity Archfiend uh, back into the hand. Uh, once again, we're going to activate Laval Chain's effect, putting a Stygian Street Patrol into the graveyard, and then special summoning the Infernity Archfiend over again, uh, at which point we can then use the uh, launcher uh, and then kill him even more. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, uh, he has given up. Um, let's say three of those cards would be completely and utterly negated. That one card would be compulsed if necessary. Um, so he only really has two cards to play with. Uh, let's see what our next turn would have looked like. It's a dark hole. So we would then compulse, put this to the hand, to graveyard, set, detach, view. We're going to pop out. What? We could tag... Uh, yeah, well. Put that to the graveyard. Then we banish it right afterwards. Just a special summon. Well, that's a special summon, not a normal summon. Miss clicks, miss clicks. Um, at which point, what are we going to do? I guess we're going to put a Mirage to the hand. To hand. Normal summon the Mirage to graveyard. Special, special, and that's a pretty big freaking field right there. So we have a total of uh, three Infernity Barriers, even though, he, you know, he didn't play anything, but, you know, it not it's not even a guarantee that anything up there is even playable. So we've got 
one, two, and three Infernity Barriers, a Dark Hole face down, three in attack position, Infernity Archfiends, a Laval Chain, and of course an Infernity Doom Dragon. Thank you guys very much for watching. Don't be uh, so mean in the uh, comment section. I do understand that you may not like the deck, however constructive criticism uh, will not get you blocked. Uh, being an asshole will. Thank you guys very much for watching once again. Underworld 6667, reminding you not to make binder blunders. Those are the fucking bad.